This was super uh, easy. I'm honestly really impressed that this worked as well as it did. Hi, I'm Noelle. I lead social and production for hair.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to do old Hollywood waves um, that are going to be super, super shiny and silky thanks to this product, um, the Kerastas Elixir Ultime. Um, this is a bi-phase product, so I don't know if you can see, but um, up top it's kind of this like clear formula and on the bottom it's more of an oil and then when you shake it up, it all combines. So I'm really excited to put this product to the test. Um, I've used the sister product to this, um, the original Elixir Old Team, which is um, actually a pump and the formula itself is a little bit heavier. That's for um, a little bit of thicker or coarser hair. I'm really excited to try this out though because it is a lighter formula. It's really formulated for more normal to fine hair. Um, and I think this would be really good to use on dry hair so it doesn't feel too like sticky or anything. You can use this on wet or dry hair, but my hair is already dry. Okay, so what you'll need for this tutorial is the Elixir Old Team. Um, we'll get into this product a little bit more, but key fact is that it is a heat protectant. So no matter what, make sure you are using a heat protectant before you use hot tools, which brings us to a curling iron. So this is one inch. Um, you can do this, this tutorial with a, a larger or smaller curling iron, a comb. So we're gonna use this obviously to kind of section out the hair, but then at the end, you um, get that glam wave, Hollywood wave effect by kind of breaking down all the curls. And then finally a clip, again, to section off the hair. So really quick, talking about this Kerastase product. So this is made with marula oil, which you may have uh, you know, used in your skincare products before, but it's super hydrating, it's super nourishing. Um, one of the, the kind of key product facts is that obviously it promotes shininess, but also it kind of um, makes that finer hair feel a little bit fuller. And obviously when you're creating Hollywood waves, you want that full kind of dramatic effect. The first step of this process is going to be to section out the hair. I'm just going to kind of section the top and bottom, which is how I typically curl my hair. Once that's out of the way, I can go in and spray the heat protectant. Um, Elixir Old Team. Yeah, so this smells amazing. <laughs> and even though it is an oil, it feels super light and like not greasy at all. So I'm just gonna work that through. You do want all of the curls to go in the same direction so that they, um, you know, all follow the same curl pattern. So I'm going to do and I leave the end out just so, just to like prevent split ends whenever possible. And it also makes it look a little bit more natural. The key to this, uh, to this style, once you release the curl is to cup it and like cool it a little bit because then it'll set um, in that pattern. And you can see already it's more bouncy than when I initially let it down. So as you can see, I'm kind of just taking one, one and a half inch pieces. You can already see the, the curls are kind of all falling into a really nice, perfect pattern, which is what we like to see. Okay, so this side's done. And now I'm gonna move on to the top. All right, so now I'm finished with the curling. I'm going to let down the bottom half and as you can see it is very very curly but also very shiny um if there's any other blonde out there you know that like this time of the year it's like i feel like my hair gets so dull and just kind of like not as bright but 
the shine I think is really um, noticeable here. So the next step is once everything is nice and cool, we are going to comb it out. Use what you have if you have a comb, give it a try. One key is to comb through slowly. And you can see it's all kind of following the same um, wave pattern, which is the goal. So as you can see, this is super, super shiny. It's super voluminous, which is another one of the um, product benefits. I'm honestly, really impressed that this worked as well as it did. However, I do think that this product was really key in keeping everything um, smooth and shiny and frizz free. So my final verdict is definitely a thumbs up for this tutorial. Again, if you want to give this Elixir Ultima try, you can find it on hair.com. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos, tutorials, and tell us what other tutorials you want to see in the comments. Thanks, bye.